Hello, kids. The book we are reading today is called A Whale of a Tale, all about porpoises, dolphins, and whales. Let's go. A whale of a tale. What's the story today? Funny that you should ask. We are going to take on a whale of a task, to learn about whales and their smaller relations. Purposes and dolphins, the group called cetaceans. So please hang on tight as we lower down toward the boat that we soon will be sailing aboard. One very large boat, the best in the nation, Captain McElligot's Cetacean Station. Like monkeys and donkeys and dogs, cats and camels, whales, porpoises and dolphins are all kinds of mammals. Cetaceans might look like the fish in the sea, but cetaceans are closer to you and to me. They are warm-blooded like us, but with fins and no legs. They give birth to live babies and do not lay eggs. Fish breathe through gills like that cod over there. But cetaceans blow holes like noses breathe air. Land mammals have bodies all covered with hairs. Cetaceans have just a few spare hairs on theirs. Our hair keeps us warm, but their fat does the trick. Sometimes, like a mattress, it's two whole feet thick. Another big difference between whales and fish. Thing one and thing two can explain if you wish. Fish flap their tails side to side when they go, but whales flip theirs upward and downward like so. Some cetaceans catch food with the teeth in their head. Others use something called baleen instead. Baleen grows in rows and forms sort of a grill for straining the tiny sea creatures called krill. But toothed or baleen, cetaceans don't chew; they swallow food whole. That's all that they do. Some whales even swallow some things by mistake: a bucket, a boot, or a big rubber snake. Most cetaceans we know like to swim in a troop. A pod is the name that we give to this group. If danger is near, they will sound an alert to keep their young safe and help those who are hurt. Because it is smallish, the porpoise is shy. It swims near the shore and does not leap high. Only Dahl's porpoise swims out in the sea. Thirty miles an hour, the porpoise speedy. We can all play a game, so let's make a start. Porpoise or dolphin? Who can tell them apart? Porpoise teeth are flat. Dolphins are cones. Porpoise noses are shorter with delicate bones. Porpoise or dolphin? It's easy to spot. Dolphins' noses are long, but porpoises are not. Of dolphins, there are about thirty-five types. Some dolphins have patches, and others have stripes. These markings are really a very good way of hiding the dolphins as they hunt for their prey. The smallest is five feet from its nose to its tail. The largest is orca or the killer whale. Bottlenose leaps forward as neat as you please. The dusky leaps backward and does it with ease. The one we call spinner, McElligot nose, spins around in the air like a top. This guy goes. And sometimes the spinner will come to a stop, and peer out of the water. It's called a spy hop. 
This humpback is one very odd mammal. Its back has a hump, like the land-living camel. This dolphin's a boto, and what would you think if I told you the boto has skin that is pink? The dolphin has a way of looking around by forming a picture that's made out of sound. It sends out a sound at a high steady rate. The sound bouncing back makes its jawbone vibrate. Echolocation is the word that we call the underwater way that dolphins see all. Most dolphins could win mummy of the year. They care for their young and keep them quite near. When dolphins are born, a nurse dolphin is there to bring baby up to breathe in its first air. And when mummy goes to hunt, why this thoughtful critter leaves baby behind with the babysitter. I bet you were thinking, hey, what about whales? The biggest comes last. Oh, that trick never fails. Whales, as a rule, like to stay on the move, as all of our studies can easily prove. In tropical seas, in the winter they breed, in the summer they swim toward the poles to feed. Some scientists tag whales with sensors or plates to study their habits, their lives, and their traits. The sperm whale can dive down one mile or more. Its rich blood and muscles are up to the chore. A cave in its head, that's the size of a jeep, weighs down the whale's body and helps it sink deep. Some whales we have found have teeth much like beaks. They live far from the land, but we've had a few peaks. The narwhal's long tooth is a tusk, as you see. It might work as a sword or an ice pick, maybe. One day you might hear a big and loud splash. A whale has leapt up and came down with a crash. We call this act breaching. And no person, not one, knows why the whales do this, perhaps just for fun. The best breaches of all are these whales, they say. Humpback and sperm, right whale and grey. The ocean is loud with the sounds of whales talking. They're clicking and groaning and moaning and squawking. Why is it whales talk? To communicate! Who, what, why, and where, and if they'll be late. The humpback sweet song won McEgligate's heart. It even showed up on the pop music chart. Dick and Sally all set? Oh, this will be a blast. Here comes the blue whale, the biggest, come last. The blue whale is big, and for what it is worth, it's the biggest thing living in sea or on earth. The blue whale is big, yes indeed, and what's more, bigger still than the big, big, biggest dinosaur. The story of the purpose, the dolphin and the whale, you have to admit, is a whale of a tail. The end. A whale of a tail. I hope you like this one. Bye-bye, kids.